This is Twit. Oh, we're we're having so much fun and getting people together with their soldering iron. This pine board thing has just really uh, exploded. I tell you, each week it's, it's just amazing. And I got some pictures. First of all, that um, we need to go through, and uh, uh, one of them came from Virginia, from Texas. She's just really something, and uh, she's in the uh, in the chat room uh, every night. But um, Virginia sent the pictures of her wonderful work and she did great work what she did first of all she she went up and uh, got all of her stuff together uh, from hobby lobby the uh, uh, the board from uh, from hobby lobby and uh, there it is all built up her parts i think came from antique electronic supply it, uh, didn't she do a nice job it was really really nice and and um, she uh, also uh, yeah, there she's uh, she's working on all the rest of it. But what a nice job! So Virginia, keep that up, and uh, we'll look forward to you uh, getting it, getting it all going, so that somewhere along the way we'll get to talk to you on the air with yours. I also had a a great piece that came from one of the uh, one of the guys that have really been into this thing, and uh, this is a good piece. First of all, Dennis in six DGM. There's his uh, power supply, and he did a really pretty job and really nice. Dennis, uh, good work, buddy. Then we got to look at Bob in Ford JGO. And he has a little lesson for all of us. You, uh, you realize we have high voltage on those pins. And those high voltage that we talked about all the time, you want to protect yourself. And I've gotten uh, a few people uh, giving me a little trouble about, well, you don't want to teach this because the kids with the high voltage. Yes, we do. You respect the circuit, no matter if it's 12 volts or 150 volts. You respect what we're doing. And what, uh, what Bob did was really cool. He took all of the high voltage pieces and he covered it up with a plate. He uh, got standoff so it stands up higher. And that way, you're not going to get in trouble with anything. What a great idea. And uh, this is what this whole project is about. This is not just about uh, we're telling you what to do. You're telling us things that we can do. And that that's what's really fun about this whole project. So we're, uh, we're so thrilled about all of it. But you got to keep in mind, all of you, we're dealing with some high voltage. So... Be sure that uh, before you get into all of this that you're able to uh, make it all happen and not have any problems. We're dealing with a, a, a 150 volts, and it's not a big deal. It really isn't when you respect it, and uh, don't, uh, don't play a game. So all of you that are worried about that, no, you, you, don't be worried. We respect it, and we teach that here uh, on Ham Nation. Here's the transmitter. So many are getting ready to go with the transmitter. And that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to uh, give you all of the things you're going to need to make this transmitter work. And, uh, you know, we had a couple of other designs, but uh, Richard and I uh, worked together. This is his 6AG7, 6V6, and it really works great. I mean to tell you, this thing works great. So what do we do to start? What you do first is you go down to Hobby Lobby and you buy your pine board. They've got it all ready for you. It's really pretty. It's got little bevel, beveled edges and so on. And um, I think it's two bucks or so, and there's a Two or three of them in a package. So that's a really good starting point. And after you do that, you need to do one other thing. We need to, to look at what we're going to do, where the parts are going to be mounted. And um, I like to take the board and uh, I'll show you in a minute where we, how we get, how we arrive at but what we want to do, and you might want to make a screenshot of this, is I want to punch the, the holes in the board. Uh, this isn't exactly that one, but you, you take an awl, you know, an ice pick, <laughs> and uh, punch where you're going to have all of these parts show up. That way, 
uh, it'll be real easy to put things together. These are on standoffs, but you got to do something with these first. I did just, just to get the holes lined up first, then I take it all back off. But that's the first thing you want to do is to get the parts mounted where, where they uh, – uh, where they should be and then take them back off and here we'll give you the real cool piece that gene has done what a great great drawing this is marvelous stuff and um, it will give you all of the drawings and, and of all the pieces and the parts just as they turn out on the transmitter that's it right there and what you need to do first is the tube sockets understand you can't get to the bottom of these so you do them first and i go uh, with the schematic and i'll show you here in a minute uh, a pictorial of all the wires that you need to do for each one of the sockets but you actually make the socket ready to go so then you get your standoffs my standoffs i get from lowe's by the way Go into that automatic uh, automotive drawer with all those things that you can buy for different things. And they've got standoffs. These are about an inch high. And uh, that way you can make that all uh, amount to the prime board. There it is in the correct drawing. And all these drawings will be up on the, on the website. So you have very clean, clear drawings. You go to HeilSound.com. Go all the way down past all this microphone stuff we're talking about the pine board section and we're putting all of these drawings there's a lot of comments there and you'll want to join into some of the the forum that's there it's really cool but you'll get to see all of gene's drawings and there is eh, there is one of them right there and that is this 6v6 bottom and all you do after that is mount it on the board uh, you you have the board ready to go, and then you can mount all the rest of the parts. It, uh, it's it, it's something that you just need to take and take your time, and do those uh, those particular um, prefaces, and it goes well. One of the other deals that we had to do was we have a piece of pine board. How do we mount SO two thirty nine? So what I did is. My copper buses that we showed you, uh, I took that copper bus and I ran it around and just made a little cage out of it. And it works great. It's very, very uh, substantial. And uh, that's how I did it. Uh, just that's number 14 copper wire. And I just got it out of some uh, Romex wire I had around here. And that works wonderful. This is the complete schematic of the transmitter and uh, again it's a 6ACG7 and a 6V6 and, and what happens is we come out of the pri uh, preamp into the 6V6 and this becomes a housing modulator and when you modulate this tube what it does is it goes up here and changes the plate and the screen grids at the rate of the audio it modulates the final amplifier it's really quite neat the way that works and uh, uh, next week george is going to do a whole treatise on this just as he did in the preamp with this green screen and all that it'll be really good but you see the b plus is coming into here it goes it goes up and powers the plate of the of the 6v6 it also goes up and gives the power to the uh, final amplifier but this modulator goes up and modulates that screen and that causes the electrons to be amplified at the audio frequency. It's a very cool, simple way to get AM uh, without a lot of big transformers and all of that. But we'll get into more of that as we get along. We're, uh, we're quite a bit ahead of our stuff on this, but I want to show you the whole thing. We're going to go back and review it in a minute. There is the complete parts list. You go to Antique Electronic Supply, 
and in the search box you put ham nation and all these kits will come up you'll have the field strength meter you will have the preamp you will have the power supply and then this transmitter will go in probably next week but all of the parts are there we also want to pay attention that they don't have all of the parts the tubes are going to come from SND tube sales and antique electronics to all of the B's. This C is radio days. There's a couple of parts that we have to go there for. And MFJ is doing the final coil. We talked about that last week. They're doing a very special coil for us. And you have to go to their uh, uh, – uh, it's not in their catalog – but you go to their website or call them on the phone. It's pick up the phone and I don't know, people are so adverse today at calling. But there's a special number that they've applied to it. 404-0811. Now 0811 is for their amplifier, the 811 amplifier. But you put a dash one on it and it's the one just for the Pine Board project. So uh, that that's exactly what's going on. I want to... Uh, I want to go back and review a couple of things that in the beginning that's very important for you. You're going to – this is what we're going to end up with. By the way, that switch is – I just put it there, and I did it like I did the uh, uh, the coax connector. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. That might be the key switch. I'm not sure, but I put it in there. It's ready to do. You see, you do these things while you're doing it, and, hey, maybe I need that later. <laughs> But uh, the the uh, transmitter works so well. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, Richard and I have been talking in the mornings with it, and we're happy with it. And uh, this is the uh, – without the tubes, you can see how it's laid out. And uh, that wonderful coil. You see that little piece there that's bent? You take that clip lead we have on it and clip it there. It's 40 meters. That's how we change bands. And you could put a switch in there if you wanted to, and we'll talk about that as we get on to it. But there's what you're going to start with. You want to get your, your pine board from Hobby Lobby or make your own and uh, start putting things together. You'll need some terminal strips. There. These are just uh, solder lugs here that the coil is going to solder to. These are the terminal strips, and those are all listed in the parts. And then you want to do your, your tube sockets. Uh, the 6V6 or the uh, uh, 6AG7. And uh, if you want to go on to mount your your uh, SO239, you can do that. That works great. I'm very uh, happy with that because I wasn't sure I was going to do it. But there's the most important thing. That is the schematic for this transmitter. And once you get that all down and... Uh, Thinking about it, you're going to have to buy parts, and there's where you get them. So you can go to HeilSound.com, and down at the bottom of the ham radio page is a complete section with many, many, many pages about the pine board, everything that we've done. And thanks to Brian. Thank you so much for doing this, Brian. Brian is taking just each one of these uh, sections. You don't have to page through the whole show. And uh, Brian has done that for you, so those are showing up as we uh, as we get them from Brian. But um, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited for all of you because we get so many guys and gals building. We've got a couple of children building, yes, and they know to keep uh, their hands away from high voltage. <laughs> uh, golly, we have to respect whatever we do, no matter if it's 12 volts or 150 volts. But uh, I hope that you're going to join us with all this because it's just too much fun. I do have to tell you, it's real ham radio. When I get on, I'll be on in the morning and uh, talking to the guys here using that transmitter. And we're talking to people uh, a couple hundred, 300 miles away on 75 meters in the morning. So pretty neat stuff.